little girl born and raised in southern Indiana is about to set out on a mission with the backing of a great team to support our veterans, military, and communities during her travels around the country and around the globe. Part of the ALA mission is the spirit of service, not self. I'd like to share a quote from one of my favorite selfless individuals who is all about giving back and supporting, Dolly Parton. The quote is, you'll never do a whole lot unless you're brave enough to try. Thank you, Michael, for inspiring me with that quote. And you know what? Michael and Dolly were right. This was a year of many experiences, and I did a whole lot because I was brave enough to try. I tried new foods, traveled to new places, and met amazing new people. These grassroots members welcomed me into their homes and showed me what mission-driven means to them. They truly are moving this organization forward. At every department visit, I had the opportunity to see our mission in action. In Arkansas, I helped gift wrap presents for veterans' families at the VA Healthcare Center. Then it was off to North Dakota to watch our talented young people participate in the department oratorical contest. They were so talented, I was disappointed to leave them, but not disappointed to leave the below zero temperatures. Next up was Puerto Rico, where the weather was warm and sunny, just like the people. As a national president, you get the privilege of laying wreaths all over the country. But I have to say the wreath I laid at the Puerto Rico National Cemetery was the most beautiful one I had ever seen. And just like that, I was already five months into my presidency. Mid-year has always been marked with the American Legion Washington Conference, and I was honored to participate in their committee meetings, speak at the commander's call, and have a wonderful time honoring recipients of the Samsung Scholarship Banquet. Every president will tell you that Fisher House visits are always a highlight of their year. And while the layout of each house is almost identical, it's the artwork and decor they choose for their walls that makes them unique to their location. South Carolina's Fisher House will always stand out to me because of the incredible piece of textured artwork featuring animals made from various fabrics found throughout the house. It was absolutely stunning. Fisher houses are so special because they concentrate on the families. We all know that military families face unique obstacles, but there are special challenges specific to our military children. These young people have to be brave and strong every day. In California, I joined the Legion family and delivered sports equipment to schools on base at Fort Irwin. And in Washington, I visited Santa's Castle on the grounds of Joint Base Lewis McCord, where service members can shop for their children. And anyone who knows me knows how much I love Christmas. So I was ready to put on my elf ears and pointy shoes and stay forever. But the Legion family called, so it was time to trade the snow of Santa's Castle for the snows of Alaska. It was a privilege to tour Alaska Veterans Pioneer Home with Suns Commander Chris Carlton. And after our tour, we joined National Commander Jim Triola, who is getting to meet his biggest fan. I'm predicting we see this junior member at a future ALA Girls State. While I could only attend two Girls State events this year, one in Indiana and the other in Iowa, I wish I could have gone to every department's event. ALA Girls State and ALA Girls Nation are such an amazing week of learning focused on responsible citizenship, leadership, and love for God and country. Being around such talented young women was truly an honor. Visiting our departments and seeing our members in action was a privilege I will never forget. I wish I could have taken you all with me because our members at work is really something you have to see firsthand. Describing it doesn't do it justice. I feel the same way about the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival. Attending this event is so moving. I wish everyone could experience it at least once. This annual event, co-presented by the American Legion Auxiliary and the VA, has been a favorite event of mine ever since my first festival in 2019. Thank you to everyone who contributed to raising funds for our festival companions. 
Seeing a room full of veterans and their companions at each meal warmed my heart. They were so happy to have that time together. And many of them thank the ALA for making this possible. Your generous donations not only made an immediate impact, but will ensure that veterans and their companions will be eating together for many years to come. You've truly helped me to create an ALA legacy. Thank you. My year was filled with so many opportunities to honor those who served in the military in wartime or peacetime. From laying a wreath at the Vietnam Veterans Wall and the Vietnam Women's Memorial in Washington, D.C., to attending the National Wreaths Across America ceremony in Rhode Island, I have been blessed to be given the opportunity to offer my appreciation for their sacrifice. In Louisiana, I laid a wreath at the Ghost Star Memorial and then had the distinct pleasure of speaking at the Ghost Star Mothers Annual National Convention, where Executive Director Sarah Regal and I signed a Memorandum of Understanding, making our mutual support of a shared mission official. All of these moments will hold a special place in my heart, and while I appreciated each one, my mind always returned to our POW MIAs and the families who have not yet been able to experience the peace of a final resting place. Thank you to Fairhaven, Vermont Post and Unit 49 for holding your weekly POW MIA vigil. It is a beautiful reminder that not all are home. I'd like to thank all the ALA and Legion family members who welcomed me into their units and departments with open arms. Thank you to Team Indiana for your generous support I've received over the years. To my son Michael and son-in-law Ryan, thank you for always being a phone call away and continuing to support me during this time. To my brothers and sister-in-law, I love you and appreciate you. And to Jimmy for being my bag carry when I needed it and supporting me during this time as the national president. And soon, I'll be back home again in Indiana. Thank you all for an unforgettable year.